In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can bid on items in eBay using the application Garage Buy. Keep in mind that in order for you to be able to place a bid using the application, you must first allow the application to let you sign in with your eBay account. Garage Buy makes it easy and efficient for bidding on items. First, type in your search in the search box located in the top left corner of the application. When the pop-up window appears, you can narrow your search down by selecting a more targeted category. You can also set a limit to how many results you want to be shown. After the auction listings have loaded, click on an item that you wish to purchase. Then hit the Place Bid button. In the bid placing window, you will be provided with reliable information such as the name of the seller and their feedback percentage. You will also be shown the current bid price along with how many bids have been placed. To place your bid, type in your bid in the text box that says My Bid. If you look below the text box, you will be shown what the minimum amount is that you must bid. When you have typed in your bid, press the Place Bid button and your bid will be placed. Pay attention to where it shows how much time is left in the auction, as well as where it says that the page updates automatically every 60 seconds. If we go to place a bid on an item that has less than one hour remaining in the auction, the time left will show up in red, and we will be able to see the time counting down by the second. If we go to place a bid on an item with less than five minutes remaining, the price will automatically update after 20 seconds as opposed to 60. Automatic updates will continue to become more frequent as the auction comes closer and closer to its final seconds. This saves you time from having to constantly refresh as an auction is coming to a completion. You can still, however, press the Update Now button as often as you'd like. So that is how you place bids on eBay items using Garage Buy. For more Garage Buy and other Mac software video tutorials, visit www.aptorial.com.